So Eric, you had Mark as a subject. He's kind of the clown figure. So the idea was containing the clowniness, the, the silliness. In terms of the presentation, I'm not feeling the easel at all. I'm untrained. I tried to come up with reasons in my head on why it shouldn't be on an easel, and I really couldn't. To me, when I saw it, I thought of John Wayne Gacy, the serial killer, yeah. did self-portraits of himself. I didn't mean to make him that creepy. I like clowns. Your attack, your color, your surface, and the type of painting it is, is the problem. Do you know what I mean? I don't really know what you mean, because I'm not trained. You can't use that. I don't know a whole lot about art or art history, so in terms That's of... That's three times. We're using the five-strike rule in Okay. Europe. Go on. Please tell me if this is an excuse or not. I'll let you know. <laughs> a professional might know one way of doing things, but an amateur, the possibilities are endless. Mark? When I met Eric, he has a very almost aggressive appearance with the tattoos, but I realized he was a sweet, very funny pussycat kind of guy. The pose is so iconic. It does have a real power that way. You've got a strong point of view. Portraiture has really been taken over by photography, and you are right on mm -hmm. for today. Thank you very much. So, Amanda, we want to hear about your piece. I didn't want to use an image of her. The focus was to capture what my impression and essence of Jamie was. Can you tell us what was your impression of her? She had a lot of layering on. Jewelry, big flowers, there's big hair. I'm so getting falling leaves is what I'm feeling uh, off of that. Because I am an abstract painter, I don't necessarily use representational images to create the work. I have to say, this is, you could call it either design or it's landscape. To you, it's a portrait, and maybe to Jamie, but to no one else will it ever be a portrait. It's just a scent is what you've given us. Too and much of a whisper. Too much of a whisper. I started noticing stuff about Ryan. He had like a jacket on, he was sweating like profusely. And uh, I was thinking of like the idea of like an oven or like this intensity. I think definitely because of your color choice and the composition, this is one of the pieces in this gallery. You, you walk in, you can't miss it. I love the fact that you gave it the light from behind. He is contemporary, he is nasty. I, I think you really captured your subject. Thank you. Okay, artists, you have given us a lot to talk about. We will call you back shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Hey. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It, was, it was interesting. I think I was a little bit rude to them. Oh, really? A little bit. Okay, so that was our first gallery show. What do we think? Pretty exciting. So I'm really impressed with what they were able to accomplish in just 13 hours. There was a real variety in terms of how they were executed. Why don't we uh, talk about our favorite? Miles, the picture has a sexy quality to it. And there's a little bit of tension that I like. And I like the historical context, pulling out this kind of obscure subgenre of photography and trying to give it a contemporary spin. All good moves. Let's talk about Abdi. The painting is fantastic. The tones of reds that he used throughout, it's got a lot to offer. And if the point of a portrait is to capture your subject, I feel like he did that very well. Yeah, I like that it kind of also had a, a vertical thrust to it. You felt like he's really stretching, stretching out, and, and, and that came through. What do we think of Mark's portrait of Eric? In terms of capturing the spirit of Eric, I thought he did a good job. The commercial aspect to his work is going to be a positive thing for him. Why don't we move on to our least successful? When I saw that clown piece on that easel, I was a little embarrassed. I don't mind Eric's clown so much as the way he painted the clown. The expression is neither here nor there. It's not a portrait, it's a clown painting. How about Neo's piece? She got a little lost in Miles' head. It's certainly too obscure. It's not anything except a kind of minimalistic painting. 
To me, looking at this, having a gallery, I don't think I could sell this piece to somebody. If I personally can't get off on it, I can't expect to convince somebody else to. No. And I don't mind that you may not agree with what we're saying, but I felt like nothing was getting in. What about Amanda? Jerry, would you have known this was a portrait? I'm afraid I wouldn't know it's a portrait. And so she had played around with her attack of the canvas, but none of it really paid off. It looks to me like very good wallpaper. <laughs> I think if portraiture's main goal is to represent a person, we definitely have some winners here, and of course some losers as well. Have we made our decision? Okay. Congratulations, your work this week was exceptional. Miles, Mark, Abdi, only one of you can win. The winner tonight will receive immunity and cannot be eliminated next week. Congratulations. Miles, you're the winner of this challenge. Cool. More than anyone else, you truly captured the essence of your subject. I was just so blown away. I'm just real antsy to get back into making art just because that's when I'm easily the most calm. You can head up to the studio and please send your colleagues down. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner. It's been said that good art is not what it looks like, but how it makes us feel. Your work didn't make us feel anything. Neo, there was a lot of process in your work, but not enough portrait. OK. Eric, we heard a lot of backpedaling, but there's no excuse for a bad painting. Amanda. You could only read your piece as abstraction. It didn't communicate anything about Jamie as a subject. Neo, Eric, Amanda, one of you is leaving us tonight. Amanda, your work of art didn't work for us. It's time for you to go. I can think of a million other ways that I might have approached it, but my work did not warrant me being the first person to go home. Thank you, Amanda. I'm feeling pretty disappointed that I'm not gonna get to go forward and be part of the additional challenges. So I'm going home, everybody. I was selected. It was great yeah. meeting all of you guys. Amanda, you did my portrait. I'm feeling pretty bummed. While I'm disappointed, I'm just going to continue to expand this amazing journey that I've been on to really make art my career. Coming up this season on Work of Art. It's crazy. That is art making, baby. You don't deserve to be here. I don't? No, I don't think so. Then you. You just shot yourself in the foot, man. The most shocking work sometimes is not even meant to be shocking. Yeah, this is as disturbing as it gets, in my opinion. They certainly give you a rush of blood, uh, to put it mildly. Oh, my God! Sarah Jessica! <laughs> Hi. This is the best day of my life. It, it works. And this competition is really going to change my life, who I am as an artist. This feels more like a white trash wedding. This piece is distractingly boring. I'm a fine artist. I don't. All right. Ha, 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 ha. I actually think that you're not making art here. To learn more about work of art, the next great artist, visit bravotv.com. Matches, pretty matches.